teacher says we need to decide if the numbers on this page are prime or composite. What's that all about? That's easy, Matthew. Let's take a look. Remember when we learned about factors? Sure. Factors are numbers that can be multiplied to get a certain product, like 2 and 7. Or factors of 14. Right, and do you remember how we use t-charts and rainbows to show the factors of a number? Mmm, not really. Can you show me again? Sure, let's think about the number 18. If you have 18 tiles, you can arrange them in arrays like this. 1 by 18, 2 by 9, and 3 by 6. That means the factors of 18 could be written on a t-chart like this. And the factors can be written out rainbow style like this. If you have seven tiles, you can only arrange them in one array, like this, one by seven. This means the factors of seven could be written out on a t-chart like this. And the factors can be written out rainbow style like this. So 18 has a bunch of factors, but seven only has two? Right. That's the big idea behind prime numbers. Prime numbers have exactly two factors, one and the number itself. So that means seven is a prime number. You're right. And numbers like three and 11 that have only two factors are prime numbers too. But what about numbers like 18 that have more factors? What are those numbers called? Numbers with more than one array have more than two factors. They're called composite numbers. Remember, every number has one and itself as factors. If the number has more factors, that's what makes it composite. Got it? I think so. See if this is right. Prime numbers have exactly two factors, one and itself, that can be shown with only one array. Composites numbers have more than two factors that can be shown with more than one array. Woohoo! You've got it! Thanks, Carly. Now I'm ready to tackle this math assignment. When you think about it, Math is pretty fun, isn't it? Created using Powtoon.